Are you here? Are you still here? Are you still here? Are you breathing? Are you breathing? Or you forgot to breathe? Don't forget to breathe. This activity is to work on yourselves. Don't talk. I want you to think and feel alone, okay? This first activity is alone, okay? Gather, regather, okay? Reconnect, go deeper. This activity that we have just done is an activity that we will um, cover when we finish this workshop. So this is an activity that we have just right, done right now, but I want you to forget about this activity because we will go back to it when we finish, okay? 
And I am again going to ask you to do this next activity privately. This next activity that I'm going to ask you to do, um, I think it is, it is very private and I don't want you to be sharing with anyone the next activity. Is the activity, activity number three. You have it there, also in the slide. It's the same, you have the same in the slide as in your, in your handouts. And what it says is, rate your attention with a number from one, which is the minimum, to seven, which is the maximum. Um, and it is to the following items. So think about how much attention you give to your family and to your closest friends, how much, activity, how much attention you give to your workmates, how much attention you give to your students, and how much attention do you give to yourselves? So from one minimum to seven. I'm going to give you one minute. Is it okay? All right, don't share. Okay, the minute is over. Finished? All right, um, I want to tell you that when I first did this activity myself, um, I noticed how much difference there, there was between some of the items. I remember that for some of the items, my numbers were really low. And for some others, my numbers went up to more than seven. Um, do you have the same feeling or do you have a different feeling? Yes, same feeling. It doesn't have to be the same. Um, would you like to share your feeling about having these numbers? Do you learn anything from that? Do you become aware of something? when you discover, like for example, your attention to some things go down to two or to three, or maybe you have the same attention to everything in a balanced way. Do you learn something about yourselves when doing this? Yes? Good. Look, I'm going to ask you um, another activity which has nothing to do with what we've been doing. People usually think that mindfulness is sitting down, meditating, uh, going far from the rest of the people and being alone and being just a meditator. Mindfulness has nothing to do with that. We have started by doing these, I would say, introspective activities, but this is not mindfulness. It is only one part of it, but there is a lot, a lot related to talking to others, communicating, and being in the moment 
when you are communicating. So we're going to do now um, a third activity. But before we do it, I want to show one slide because if you pay attention to what we've been doing, I started by asking about your intention. And then I was asking about what? I moved from intention to attention. Okay, intention, attention, and now let's move to attitude shushing. This is a um, graph, a symbol, a writing symbol, a Japanese writing symbol, uh, which means attitude. Mindfulness is characterized by a particular attitude. This attitude has to do with accept acceptance, has to do with openness, has to do with curiosity, and it has to do with love. This is also called beginner's mind. Have you ever had, uh, have you ever heard of this expression, beginner's mind? Not even in Spanish. Mente de principiante? Yes. So, beginner's mind or mente de principiante is related to whatever you do in your life, do it as if it were the first time in your life you do it. Even though you know what may happen, shift your perspective and adopt this attitude of openness, of curiosity, lack of prejudice, don't you have the impression that in this world, so full of experts, we have experts now in so many different fields, so many experts everywhere. Well, in a world like ours, full of experts, how much wisdom do you find? So having an attitude which is open, which is curious, makes an old subject, an old topic come alive again because you are the one who has changed. There is a sentence below. Can someone read it? Can someone read it? In the beginner's mind, there are many possibilities. In the expert's mind, there are few. So, what happens when we have, when we are beginners? Our minds are open. When we are experts, when we know a lot about a topic, we lose freshness. We lose perspective. So this is what you need to have in mind when we start practicing mindfulness. So we have intention, we have attention, and we have attitude, all right? These three terms. Okay, are you bored? Um, I'm going to ask you to do activity four. 
For activity four, you are going to discover that you have uh, three questions. I'm going to ask, don't, don't go to your, forget about that, forget. Look at that, look at that, forget about this. Okay, look at, look at the slide. You've got three questions there, right? And we're going to do an activity now, which is a very crazy activity to do. Are you here? Are you still breathing? Can you sit on the verge of the chairs again and reconnect? Are your soles on your, of your feet touching the floor? Are you on the verge of the chair? Okay. How is your how is your posture? Is it upright? Yes, it is upright. No, yes, but normally it is. Okay. So, now I'm not so very... let's have let's have an open attitude. Okay. There is something important going on here. So that's why we have this posture because this is so important. So let's. Stay, let's feel where we are, let's close our eyes, and let's breathe. Let's breathe together one time, okay? So I'm going to guide you, you close your eyes. You have this posture, which is tense, but it is also relaxed. So you are there in a balanced posture in between being tense but being relaxed. Your eyes are closed and you are here feeling your body sitting down in your chair. Let's take one deep breath together. Inhale. Exhale. Now you can open your eyes. Welcome back. Okay. Now I'm going to uh, ask you three questions. And the three questions that I'm going to ask you, the three questions that I'm going to ask you are the questions that you have on the slide. So, when I ask you these questions, I'm going to ask you to decide your level of attention or your degree of satisfaction. And I'm going to do the same. I'm going to ask you to think from one to seven, but we're going to do this with another technique. And this technique is called systemic coaching or systemic photograph. Have you heard of it? So I want you to imagine that here, this wall is one. This wall is one. This wall is seven. Okay? So I'm going to ask you these three questions. I want you to consider where you are in relation to the question. And I'm going to ask you to put yourself, to place your body where you think you are. Do you think you are in four, right in the middle? Do you think you are in three, in two, in one? All right. So everybody stand up. And I'm going to ask you a question. And you don't know the question that I'm going to ask you because you're not reading the slide because I will be reading the, the question for you. Okay? So I want you to tell me which is normally your level of attention to a conversation. If you think that your level of attention usually goes down, you move to one. 
If you think that your level of attention is high, you move to seven. Okay. So your level of attention, when you are in a conversation, where are you? Okay, I want you to see where you are in relation to the space. But I also want you to take a look at where you are right now in this precise moment in relation to the rest of your partners here. Okay, which is the wall which means one? Okay, and the wall, which means seven? All right. I have a very nice picture from here, I have to say. Let's go to the second question. Don't read, I will read it for you. Breathe, inhale, exhale. Second question. How often do you realize that your attention has moved away from whatever you're doing. Okay. Now I want you to consider where you are now in relation to where you were before. This is another nice picture as well. This technique is called systemic photograph. Hmm? Okay. Let's go to the third question. One deep breath and be prepared for my third question. What is your degree of satisfaction regarding finding the time to work on the things that are most important for you most times? Okay. How do you feel? How do you feel? This, this moving in the space helps you understand on a different level where you are and how you feel. Yes? Look at where you were in the first question. Look at where you were in the second question. And look at where you are right now. And do you have now the same people around you in this third question? No. Reality changes a lot. Okay. Go back to seats, but now different seats. Don't sit in your places. Go to a different seat. I'm going to ask you now to go to the next activity. 
You have the next activity also on the slides. You have the next activity also in your, in your handouts, but you don't need the handouts if you don't want to. And the next activity says, it is an activity to do in pairs. I'm going to ask you to think about what you learn from this activity that we have just done. And now I want you to think about what you think, what you believe mindfulness is, and what you think it is for. And finally, we've been talking a lot about attention. I want you to consider also in your pairs, what happens when attention fails? So these three questions are for you to consider in pairs. I'm going to give you three minutes. I will play the gong to mark the beginning of the activity, and then I will play the gong to mark the end of the activity. I want you to share with your partners how you feel regarding the, the activity, and also answer the rest of the questions. Yes? Great. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Did you hear the gong? Where is your attention? Okay. 